Do you ever find yourself quickly irritated or annoyed? Do you feel yourself frustrated or stressed or overwhelmed because things don't seem to come about the way you want them to be? Welcome my friends to another week weekend reflection video and this weekend I'd like to reflect on this a little bit particularly because of what St. Paul has to say in his letter to us this weekend. St. Paul has that wonderful line of seek not the things of here below but heavenly things to embrace the mind of Christ. What St. Paul's getting at is that he's trying to urge us, encourage us to perhaps let go of our own narcissistic wants and desires, our own obsession with obtaining the things that we want to the point that we become quickly irritated and frustrated, but to rather enter life with a certain openness, a desire to listen, to love, to be open to God's way in this world, to take on the mind of Christ, the mind of love. Now the challenge, I think, and I've been thinking a lot about this lately in my own life, to be honest, I find it so frustrating because there seem to be so many demands in this life that sometimes my mind, my heart, my soul become so focused on those things that I seem to have little to nourish myself, little to elevate my mind to something higher, to better. The thing is, the more I reflect upon this, the more I realize it's actually within my control. I can decide where I'm going to put my heart and my energy. I can be the one that says, you know what? I'm not gonna let the things of this world completely control and fog my mind or to distract my heart from things that are much more important in this world. But in order for me to do that, I need to take time each day and to really ground myself in the living God. To literally start my day in Christ, in prayer, reflecting, praying, and asking God to guide my heart, my soul, my spirit throughout the day. I find when I don't do that, I become quickly irritated through the day. Again, rather than thinking of things above, I begin to become focused on all the things in this world that, quite frankly, I really can't control. But when I pray, when I meditate, I find myself entering into this world, being open to what God may have in store for me. But my focus also becomes more upon loving others as Christ would have me love them. To not necessarily think of myself, but to put others first. And that's what St. Paul is getting at within this reading today. He's really trying to get us away from this narcissistic self, which only really leads to anger, frustration, stress, and anxiety, but to embrace the mind of Christ, a mind of openness and of love, a willingness to see what is God's great plan in this world. But again, for us to be able to live that way, to embrace that sort of life, we had to take some time to pray and meditate. So my friends, I invite you to do so by joining us this Sunday for worship at 1030 at, here at St. Anne's. This weekend we welcome Father Stephen Drakeford, our honorary assistant, as our preacher and our celebrant, as I will be away for a week, my fun old summer holiday week. So know that you will be in my prayers, you will be in my thoughts, and do welcome Stephen. And come, let yourself be grounded in living God. And my friends, I also encourage you, whenever you can, take some time to pray, to contemplate, and to rest in the presence of God. My friends, have a blessed weekend. God bless and take care.